Hey, Apple, we're really sorry about your clock. I didn't even realize what was happening. I should be more attentive. You know what? That'll be my New Year's resolution. That and reading an entire book. I'm going to clean out my closet. I'm going to get fit. I might take a nap and figure my resolution out later. Oh, wait. I'm, like, totally going to stop napping. Uh, I feel like I've heard all of this already. Okay, time to clean out my closet. Although I am hungry. Yeah, I could go with sandwich. After lunch, I might go shopping. We've never finished any of our resolutions. You know, we didn't technically see the clock strike 12, so it's not the new year yet. I say we make a pact to finish our resolutions before the clock is found. That may not take long, Cheeky. Mayor Cookie has the best Shopkins on the job. Chicken chip, reporting for, for duty. Ugh, oh, not these two little biscuits again. <laughs> you might have more time than I thought, Cheeky. Come on, Chip. We've got work to do. Shh. Okay. Chapter one. Hey, Cheeky, can you help me train? I'm trying to finish my resolution, Toasty. But I need you to help me finish my resolution. Okay, let's place anything that's old in the to-go pile on my bed. I can't be in here, Olipi. Your bed is, like, really making me want to take a nap. Well, don't fall asleep, because I need you to help me finish my resolution. We, we need your help! Keep up the pace, Toasty, and you'll be fit in no time. You get to read, Susie isn't near a bed, Toasty gets to work out, and my closet gets cleaned. Everybody wins. Did you hear that? It can only mean one thing. A fire! The clock! Oh yeah, I mean the clock. I guess I can always start my New Year's resolution tomorrow. Uh, okay, I'm up, I'm up. Shopkins, Shopkins. Shopkins! Dressing up as Rudolph this year, Cheeky. No, I fell face first into a bowl of cherries. You mean my cherries? I needed those, Cheeky. I know we need to move as quick as we can, but try to be careful, guys. How's the snow going, Susie? OMG, it's a winter wonderland in here. This snow is, like, super swirly, though. That's whipped cream, Susie. So that means I've served my pie with a side of canned snow. How classy. We need help, Apple. We've got so much food to prepare before Christmas Day, not to mention everything else that needs to be done. Hey, gang, what's all the fuss? Hey, Fleur, it's the Christmas rush. Guys, I think I let this sit too long and now it's turned to mush. Sorry, Fleur, we're a little stressed. I'll say you've made a mess. From the stuffing to the pudding, the list just never ends. There is no need to stress when you've tried to do your best. All you need is good old-fashioned help from your friends. We'll cook a Christmas feast filled with all sorts of treats. A really yum selection of savories. And sweets. What's that? It's really tasty. It's custard baked in pastry. Mm, you guys have got to taste this gravy. Stir it till it thickens. Well, we help you pick the ribbon. Oh, no, what I'm doing! Just follow what is written. I'll take care of the chopping. While we hang up all the stockings. Just be careful in the kitchen, because the sink is started clogging. Once we finish bacon. We'll help with decorating. I spilled sauce on me. Don't forget to wear your apron. We'll be done in time for dancer. Dasher, fix, and prancer. Uh, who, like, ate the food we left for Santa? Sorry, I feel awful. As long as you're remorseful. All this food makes me hungry. <gasps> nope, nope, that's a bauble. We finished all the cooking from the stuffing to the pudding. Now it's time to hang the star. Just, Just be, be careful, careful of your footing. footing. We've done our shopping spree. Wrap the gifts under the tree. Now we can finally relax. But you forgot about me. Shopkins, 
make sure we have plenty of chips for everyone, Buncho. This New Year's Eve party is gonna be awesome! Plus, we're gonna stay awake for the first time until midnight! Midnight? Oh, that means I'll only get... 14 hours of beauty sleep. I'll start to look like all of you. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Oh, nothing. Eight hours. <sighs> I'm, like, already kind of tired just thinking about that. Don't yawn! Because if you yawn, I'll yawn. Uh, uh, oh. Stay strong, Cheeky. You're about to set off a chain reaction of yawning. The fate of this evening lies in your mouth. for the party tonight. I've written up a list of tasks for everyone to complete. What are you organizing, Apple? That! Now we can have a big New Year's Eve countdown. Who wants to see a 30-foot minute hand? Oh, yeah, that's awesome. That is Absolutely. Yeah. Cool. That'd be so cool. So, like, does time go slower because the clock is so bad? Still the same speed, Susie. Since you ruined Christmas for me, I'm gonna ruin New Year's for you. <laughs> a great <sighs> party, Apple. Hang in there, Susie. Not too long to go now. <laughs> what you asked for, silly. I have to say, Apple, I'm not a fan of all this screaming. Makes me feel like a common garden weed. Spaghetti in the hole! Why did you do that? Well, don't get lippy with lippy. Do you know how hard it was to find a spaghetti cannon? It's not exactly a household item, Apple. What are you all looking at? Why, why, why would you do this? That's what you asked for. Earthworks. Fireworks. I asked for streamers, a confetti cannon, and fireworks. Let me see that list. Hey, somebody changed this. We're sorry, Apple. At least we still have the countdown clock. Hey, guys, it's nearly time. Ten, nine, eight, seven! What's that noise? I knew we shouldn't have stayed up this late. Where did the clock go? Uh, I don't know. Hey, you think it's been longer than ten seconds? Probably. Well, Happy New Year, I guess. <sighs> Uh, hi. What are you doing? What are we doing? What are you doing? Well, it's my birthday coming up, so I'm shopping for a new purse. I think it came from this direction. Mm. Now my hand smells like cherry cupcakes. You know, a clock that size would be better suited in a central location. Would you like some help repositioning it? We're hiding it. <laughs> Oh, from who? My friends. I mean, a group of acquaintances. Acquaintances who couldn't even remember to get me a Christmas gift. You better not tell. Act natural. I won't. Because I'm going to give you the chance to make things right. Hey, you, Cupcake, you were guilty of... of... of something. Hey, stop accusing my friends of stealing. Your friends? Of course, Yolanda. Speaking of that, why aren't you wearing the bracelet we got you for Christmas? What do you mean? Lippy, did you put Yolanda's bracelet in her stocking? Uh, sorry, Toasty and I were still braiding it on Christmas morning. It's a friendship bracelet. Oh. <laughs> Merry belated Christmas. We're gonna keep looking for our clock. Let me know if you see anything. 
Will do. <sighs> Morning, everyone. Ugh, what time is this? <sighs> 7.30 <gasps> Wait a minute! Guys, it's back! What's it counting down to? It's too early for the next New Year's. I'm sorry your New Year's was ruined in the worst way. So instead, let's count down Jessie Cake's birthday. What a great How idea! Cool. So so awesome. Awesome. This is such a lovely gesture. Oh wait, there's another card inside. Every birthday party needs a cake and a Kate. Somebody wants you to have a special birthday. Any idea who it is? I have a few ideas. Check you later. Shopkins, Shopkins! <laughs> Apple Blossom, prepare to be pranked. Hey, Strawberry Kiss. What's that noise? Huh, I have no idea. Hmm, it can't be the floor. Cheeky. Apple Blossom? Huh? Where has she gone? <laughs> Check you later! Cookie. We were inside the small mart. I received a call from Lippy, but when I returned, she was gone. Cheeky Watson, we have one hour to find Cookie before it's too late. Oh no, why is that? I've got a dance class with Susie. I hope she's okay. Don't worry, Strawberry. We'll crack this case wide open. And we just got a step closer to solving it. Okay, it was me. I knew it. So, where's Cookie? Huh? I don't know where Cookie is. I thought you guys were talking about the mess. I ran away because I didn't want you guys to think I was so clumsy all the time. Too late for that. And where on earth is... Hey guys. Cookie, okay. where have you been? Shut up though. Oh, why didn't we think to look there? This get up in that heat? No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Check you later. Shopkins, Shopkins. Greetings, Shopkins, and welcome to the nail biting finale of The Spatula. Our finalists are Lippy Lips, Susie Sunday, and Kooky Cookie. That's right, folks, it's all come down to this moment. Who will Slick Breadstick choose for the final rose? Let's see how our contestants went this week. Oh my, I've never seen anything so beautiful in my life! No, have I? Come to me, Bella. We must be together! Look at this dress, it's so beautiful! Sacre bleu! What? Did you see that dress? Tonight will be the most romantic, electrifying evening you have ever had in your life. Eh, uh, if Susie ever shows up. Oh, I like totes forgot about the day. Besides, I'm like only here because I want a rose. Like they're so pretty. Wait, are you like recording this? Mon chéri, let me use my strength to win a prize for you. Hmm. Must be a prank. Look at Ma. Come, Cookie. Let's not waste our time on this broken machine. Cookie ball! Cookie, my darling, please accept this rose. You are the winner. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all for this season of The Spatula. Thanks for watching.
watching. Check you later. Shopkins, Shopkins. Greetings and welcome to Shopville. We're in the small mart and this, this is the Shopkins Leap Off. Ready? Ready. Cheeky chocolate is go. Beat that, sports fans! You wanna go next, Kooky? Uh-uh, no thanks. Then I guess it's me. Ooh. Oh, oh. Apple Blossom, the game is on! <sighs> Are you going to do it, Kooky? Don't forget to get a good run up. Check you later. Shoppers to another day of adventure and discovery as we bring you Shopkins of the Wild. We start our journey with Spilt Milk, otherwise known as Cleanus Uppers in Isle Forest, who's refining her native camouflage skills. This carton of milk's ability in concealment is second to none. Here, we encounter the ferociously fiery Toasty Pop otherwise known as Toastus Burntolotus, hunting in her natural habitat. Watch as she patiently stalks her prey. Her stealth-like movement renders her victims completely unaware that... <gasps> Sacre bleu! Burnt bagels and muffins! Ah, clearly this toaster has a lot to learn. And finally, after months of waiting, the baby-faced shoppist dummy me diaper wiper is about to take her first steps. How magical and beautiful this delicate young... Hello? Oh, yes, yes, no problem. I can come around just after four. Fantastic, I'll see you then. Whoops, got to go. Well, it looks like we might be waiting some time for this Shopkin to fully bloom. <laughs> That's all we have time for this evening. Check you later. Shopkins, Shopkins! <laughs> Coochie -coo. Look, she smiled. So cute. It looks like we're running out of baby supplies. Toasty Pop, would you watch Dummy Me while we go get some more? Does toast burn? That means yes. Oh. Okay then, be good, Mimi. Who wants a poopsie change? What? <laughs> uh, oh no! Phew. The door isn't safe for babies. Ow! Oh no! <laughs> How in all things toasty did she get up there? Here we go. All safe. You really shouldn't be. Oh no. <laughs> Burnt bagels and muffins! I insist you stop this nonsense! <laughs> oh, Crumbs, I'm sorry, don't cry! <laughs> You'll have to babysit more often. Um, she, uh... Was it something I said? Take you later. <laughs>